Kirk Duckwell here with Mastermind the Market, your real estate stats update for the Twin Cities area. While we're in the same place, but in a different year and a different market. What do I mean by that? I'll dive into that in just one second. But first, make sure you click on that subscribe button. We know that knowledge is power, and the more knowledge that you have about our Twin Cities market, the more that you can leverage that to your advantage. All right, let's dive into that data. Showings per week per listing down week over week. Was it a 7.51? Now down to a 7.16 with total number of showings dropping off as well. So I mentioned same place. If we look back last year, we are at about the same market pace out there on that average showings per week, median sale price range, Minneapolis, St. Paul. We are at, as mentioned, a 7 0.16 in comparison to last year's 7.1. So just about a 1% difference there. The big difference though is we are in a downward trajectory as to how fast the market is moving where at this time last year it was an upward trajectory. The main driver though when I mention different market is the total number of listings. Because when I do my market meter, that's not just factoring one thing. It's taking into consideration not just the showings per listing, but also looking at the total amount of inventory out there. And that's where one of the big differences is, as well as the housing affordability index. So we can see last year at this time, uh, or last year at this time, 10,355 listings in the Twin Cities area, and we're currently sitting at 5,406. And so it's been kind of stagnant for about the last three weeks running. So it's that inventory, that driving down inventory is what brought that market meter up for this year. So when we look at the market meter, we're still at that 10 range. However, there are signs, as mentioned in previous weeks with that showing activity, that we may be coming off of that within about the next four weeks or so. Keep in mind, extreme seller's market. We haven't ever hit that uh, 10 before, and we may likely not again. So uh, a, a 7, 8, 9 market is still a pretty good seller's market. Mentioning that, if we look at individual areas, we are seeing locations where the market meter is coming off that extreme pace. Um, that's still very good. But like, for example, Minneapolis is at an 8.22. So, you know, the market pace not moving quite as fast there. And that's why I always say, you know, when you're looking to sell, make sure that uh, we're talking over what exactly is going on with your particular area. So kind of sum things up. As the market is slowing, I'm recommending to buyers, you know, we had talked about those Monday houses for a while, and those are still a great, great ones to look at. Back on the market properties, those are ones you should be hitting as well. But now starting to jump in and be early to the table, get, if you see it coming soon, get that showing booked as homes are not having the same amount of showings as they were, you know, three, four, five weeks ago so that, that they may not be seeing that extreme multiple offer situation and maybe more inclined to just accept an offer right away. And so, yeah, it's, it's either be the early early bird or be the vulture, right? Come in for those Monday, Tuesday houses or the back on market ones as you may have some really good negotiation position there. Um, coming from Minnesota Transaction Coordinators, you know, it's still pretty frustrating out there for a lot of buyers because a lot of buyers haven't realized yet there may not be as many offers on properties. They may not need to be as aggressive. So we're seeing inspections waived up at a 48% rate. You know, and you got to ask yourself, is that really what you want to do to get the home? You know, is are you going to find some big undiscovered issue with that house or is the better thing to just be patient uh, and wait just a little bit longer for that uh, pace to slow down a little bit more? We are seeing, as mentioned, a lot of less showings on houses um, than just a few weeks back. So it will get better out there. 
for sellers. List now or forever hold your home. No, just kidding. But you may want to get your home on the market sooner rather than later if you want to take advantage of what's left of the spring slash early summer market. Otherwise, you might want to hold until that August-September timeline. As discussed in previous weeks, we do see usually a drop off in activity as we're seeing starting to slow down, but then it picks back up. As always, click on that subscribe button, stay safe, Take care and have a great week.